All right, we're recording again. Welcome back to the Alexandrian Codex. We are a little set back from where we were before. It's fine. All we lost was like a couple of weeks worth of progress, in-game weeks, not IRL weeks. If it were IRL weeks, I would be losing my mind. So I, what I wanted to do was get this, tell it, hey, don't go in that direction. Go over here, and then enter orbit. So as to not die horribly. Can you do that for me? Yeah. Cool. I think that's what I was doing. Maybe I was doing something else. It's too late now. Uh, Musetti, we were invading this. You two were grouping up. And landing. So Musetti will fall. We can move on to Cardassia. Then Reguak, Goralis. And that should be everything, so long as Paris has fallen by that point. I mean, that's a lot for just one army to do on their own, but... Well, you do what you can. Alright, another system falling to our heavy escorts makes me happy. You go all the way to Pardo. Six Fleet, you are really the only one who's ever been in danger of losing a ship. Still haven't. Excellent. <laughs> uh, so those ships that were attacking the Starbase Synthelia Prime just killed themselves. Somehow. Because I'm pretty sure the Starbase wasn't shooting back. Okay. Alright. I'm, I'm alright with that. I'm confused by it, but I'm okay with it. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, there's there's other things I can do to test why this has been so unstable. And I will when I'm done streaming, but... I don't want to sit on stream and read through lines of code mumbling to myself. I do that sometimes when I'm working on my mod, but I don't... I don't want to dissect other people's work on, on stream because it just seems impolite to me. Mm -hmm. The the behavior that the crashes are giving, it isn't seeming the the only consistent thing is that it might be that it's a memory issue like the game is pulling too much memory and then crashing if it's allocated wrong or crashing if it's misallocated or something like that because it it doesn't seem to be contingent on what exactly is happening in the game so long as it's a lot of things are happening in the game they stop very suddenly and then i try to immediately pull resources pull resources to do something else that's fairly memory intensive, like save or. I mean, giving orders isn't really that memory intensive, so. Eh, maybe not. Alright, well, let's. Enter orbiting Cardassia Prime. This is being bombed, correct? Yeah, just. Taking a while. Taking a long while. We're up to 10% more exhaustion just because of ground battles. 12 armies lost. I really do not want to have to reinforce our armies. It is not a fun part about this game. I kind of wish this used the Sins of a Solar Empire style model for planetary invasions where you would just have invasion craft that their job is to sit in orbit and send drop teams down to the planet. You don't have to track the army specifically, you just track the drop ships or the carrier ships. That was much more fun. Because, you know, 
Titanic beasts sound cool and telekinetic armies sound cool and deep strike commandos, etc, etc. Et they sound cool, but functionally, the only difference for the player are some numbers on a screen and how quickly pie charts either fill or unfill. Which... <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be real, isn't the most thrilling thing in the world, Paradox. I know, doing anything more exciting would involve more processing, but you could just way simplify it, cut the whole combat thing, and instead just give planets hit points, have transport fleets decrease those hit points until they hit zero, then it changes owner. It's just functionally what it does, but it would really decrease the micromanagement. So we had a bunch of planets just pop up there as being potentially colonizable because habitability went up. Hot damn! Lots of purple. Um, Admiral level cap is cool. Holographic battle bridge. Well, it sounds cool. I don't love how it looks. Assault army morale, damage, and health actually might be worth looking into. Though I don't know what counts as an assault army. Presumably everything we're using. So let's go after advanced combat training. Maybe it'll disappoint me, maybe it won't. Creating dedicated headquarters for all levels of military operations shapes an efficient fleet and lays a better foundation for future military training. Hopefully this means our assault armies are a little better off. It'll be over at about a year, which will mean that if the upgrade comes into effect, it will benefit us during this war. <clears throat> Pardo is ours. Let's go take hammock. Not hammock. Not the thing you lay in. That's H A M M O C K. Hammock. This is a hammock. Hem. Mac. Watch me be wrong about the spelling. I wouldn't even be that surprised. Alright, fourth fleet in Gallus. Hang. We gotta hang. K Kunkel? Go to Kunkel? That sounds wrong. And then go to Moreira. Moreira? Yeah. And then that should be all the Thillian systems occupied, all the Cardassian systems occupied, and really we're just waiting on their colonies to fall. If at that point. War exhaustion is not at 100%, or occupation is not at 100%. I'm gonna be mildly perturbed. And mostly confused. Man, the Founders planet falling, the Borg have really fucked up the Dominion. Man, this is the fastest speed, really? 1,000, 1,000, one, that's 1,1,000, 1,1,000, one, 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 sweet. Two and a half seconds, give or take, and this is... It's about the same, it might actually be slower on fastest. Yeah, yeah, we have to get all the systems and all the planets to get maximum occupation. It's just going to take a minute. It's a little silly because they have no means to oppose us. The war should be over. Even if they can delay our victory, it doesn't matter. Like they, they can hold it off in the most tedious ways. Tedious and insubstantial ways. Uh, well, you're not bombing this planet, so go bomb this planet. Oh god, I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, there we go. Mining station, survey station. Oh, you're over in Sharf. Nothing to do then. Just another outpost, another outpost. 
Alright. So you're orbiting Cardassia Prime. Armies on Cardassia Prime are about half of your strength. All of these will healed or repaired, as the case may be. So let's go ahead and take their home world. It's a little it's a little bit of a shame you can't separately piece people out, because the Tholians almost certainly should be begging to leave the war. Oh, I can can I colonize Geocrystalline sorry, Terraform, Geocrystalline and Rocky Worlds? I can now. Yeah, I mean we're at war. Demon class planets, I kinda wanna keep because the Leans can live there. Geocrystalline, what you got? What can you be calling it? Or <laughs> nothing because I don't have the right tech. Alright, well come back to that later then. Synthetic dilithium refinery. Upgrade. Ooh, yeah. And this is against generals. Really, I should, I should have generals leading our armies. I shouldn't... Shouldn't just be throwing our people into meat grinders and... Wishing them the best of luck, but... That's what I'm doing. Oh, wow. This has a lot to go. So the Zinkethi League are integrated. Welcome United Zinkethi League. Sponsor settlement on a colony. I'd like to replace this with Paradise Dome. Upgrade that, upgrade that, upgrade this, and that, and that, and this, and that, and this, and that. And this, that that this so we need to give you an interstellar academy I'd be delighted to give you a historic landmark we have one too many colonies i'm seeing that right now Whoop. where is this extra system aloth oh what Why did I get a colony? Can I give you this? I do not want this. Also, it's full German. What? Hey. Hello. I can't give you a planet. Ah. Uh... Okay, thank you, weird AI behavior. So, I was given this by someone we just integrated using the Federation mechanic, which should not have happened in any way but here we are okay uh paradise dome clone bats huh yeah fuck it keep the clone bats there's stellar academy bureau of cultural exchange there's a natural resort and ah no i'm building a paradise dome those are actually two different things for a landmark what do we do here well i guess we pop in a trading center and then this gets to be its own little sector, I guess, because I don't really want to mess with it. Energy, or... It looks like this would produce... This is already producing so much, I kind of don't want to put a building here. I don't know if the AI will do the same things, though, so I'm going to put a building there, just so the AI picks the right one. Yeah, that's an, that's so many minerals. Yeah, give me that. Give me that. Upgrade this. Okay, so... So you need a random sector. Oh, wait, I can just add that. Damn it. I could have just added that to the... Lambda Serpentis Prime system, apparently. No? System is not a neighbor of this sector. Alright, never mind. I apparently can't assign that to that sector, which is fine, but 
confusing. You're building in Hoyle. Why don't you build in McAdams? Looking at the Borg is scary. That's on pause. Colony lost. We've lost administrative control. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, good. Good, I should have lost control. Okay, thank God. Okay. <laughs> I don't want this. Don't give me control of this. Well, I just remodeled it for you. Or, alternatively, none of that carried over and I just spent a bunch of minerals on nothing, which is probably the case. It's fine. Transport fleet is in combat. Ah, well, it will be relieved. You won't be able to jump for 17 days. Have you taken any losses so far? Well, that should be fine. If it isn't, it isn't. But it should be okay. Check out Cardassia. Yeah, done with Cardassia Prime. Why don't we move on to Rollick? Just land immediately, right? Your armies aren't that strong. <laughs> yeah, your armies don't exist. Because I've been bombing that planet for a while now. Quite some time. I love how our our armies manage to find the one enemy outpost and attack it. Couldn't have like avoided this one tiny circle of space, huh? <laughs> Alright, champagne is ready for some stations. Do you already land? Nah, you did it. Land. You're done. Oh, the Nausicans took that for me. Dude, hell yeah. Thank you, Nausicans. Um, 300 here. What's your army strength? 400 here. Either way, it is a laugh. So let's go land here. Then we'll go land here. And oddly enough, the Paris system will be the last holdout. Why don't you, 4th Fleet, go help bomb Paris 3? Not that it needs help being bombed. We could actually win if we invaded right now, but I'd like to make it as much of a one-sided slaughter as possible. So we, we may not get full occupation of all their worlds because they are currently occupying Packer, Volchok, and Gavaria. I can't get the Zinkethi to open up their borders because we have claims on them. I don't though. I really don't have claims on you. It's the Valerians that have claims on you. It's a little awkward. It should sort itself out, but it is a little uncomfortable. You will pay me for an active sensor week. You know what? Sure. I don't get it, but okay. Clock witch chew card blue pool. No. No. Up. Uh, Alright, we are adopting harmony now. So adopting harmony will give us access to the imperial plantation which allows a species to produce a culturally unique trade good interesting what does the building itself look like if i might ask imperial plantation we would produce root beer yeah okay i'm all right with that so this would go from giving us eight food to giving us five food, so three less food, but that really shouldn't change anything significantly here. 
you're not producing any food, let's, let's unpause the game. And let me just check planet by planet if I can switch out food. This should only be a decrease of one, right? Right? Oh, is that a unique structure? That's a empire unique structure, huh? Okay, yeah, we'll get 1.1 units of root beer. Note that only some species are capable of producing trade goods. Yep. Yeah. Hell yeah, we got better disruptors. Now keep the game on pause, Alex. Uh, better beam damage. Now let's go for covariant shields 3. I'll read the description here in a second. We'll go for psychoneural medical complex. Radial force compensator. When the shield absorbs... The of destructive energies. The shields, the, the ship's hull received some mechanical feedback through the emitters. Specialized type of inertial damper. Dampener. No, it's an inertial damper, not inertial dampener. Those are two different things. Called a radial force compensator can be embedded into the shield emitters. This reduces the feedback, allowing more potent shields to be used. Unfortunately, this will draw power that would otherwise be used for re-energizing the shields. Ooh, okay, no, that's worth pausing for. Psychoneural medical complex. With larger populations, there's a higher possibility of some citizens developing psychological problems. We must use our recent advances in psychological and neurological medicine to help these citizens be productive members of society. Tell me about this, though. The Kabali Republic made peace with the Vodwar. The Kabali took four planets, ten systems. The Herogen took five planets. No, five systems. Well, the Vodabar still exists. Little rump state, but they exist. Now that you're at peace... Can I offer you a protectorate? Ah, we have to be at peace too. Okay, I'd love to make them a protectorate. Uh, yeah, okay. Good job, Kobali. I feel like the Fendomar kind of got cheated a little bit. They didn't get much out of it. But... Okay. Is this war about over? Yeah, 100%. So this war should be ending... Right now, actually. If it doesn't end right now, then that 100... Is alive? Defender war exhaustion 100%. Excuse you, game. Well, maybe in a couple months then. Speaking of war exhaustion, maybe. Scroll, 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 scroll. Maybe I can take a look at ending our own war. Or expediting this. So, the Paris system. Get the transport fleet. 27, 28, merge them up. Slowly. Land. Because there's really not much to do there. You've already taken this, so go land here. And with exception to the worlds that they've occupied in a separate war, we've taken everything. If this will keep me from winning the war, I'm going to request military access from the Zinkethi, which is something I'll probably have to bribe for may have to cheat to get I don't know the Romulan star empire have joined the celestial axis alliance celestial alliance so house of Osto, Hosnok, Romulans fucking called it that's a shame just because it's mildly inconvenient for me it's a hell of a rope block Oh, Regulok. Regulok still needs to fall as well. I forgot about that. Sneaky. How's this going? Very one-sided, though we still may lose a couple of units. And likewise, this is pretty one-sided. Though, again, we may still lose units, depending on how it goes. All of this, not even to take their systems from them, just to convert 
the way they govern themselves. It's kind of kind of silly that the requirements for ending a war, regardless of what the war goal is, is so uh, so expensive. Demanding surrender. Impose ideology is another minus 100. Huh. Alright. Oh, this is from Destroyed Planets. Okay, fair enough. Passively accumulated attrition doesn't seem to be ticking up. Or at least not very quickly. Which might be the problem going on with this war as well. That the passive... Passive war exhaustion is very, very passive. Holy hell, how long does this fight go on for? Okay, there's there's that one. I believe this is the last... So Regulok should be the last system we have to take. Looks like it. This still hasn't been meaningfully updated. Occupation 94%. If these have to fall as well, I am going to be very upset. Hey buddy, so I know you hate me. What if you didn't though? What if I gave you communications and active sensors and what are some strategic resources I won't miss? Trillium D, Iridium. Is 60 as high as this can get? Nope, 60 is not as high as this can get. Metaphasic particulates. The game is chugging. Uh, Javanite, I'd be able to give you... <laughs> that didn't increase the value of this deal. God damn it. Uh, I could probably give you other stuff, but this is taking... Uh, uh, Cormeline. Let's take Cormeline. Go up, go up, go up. Yeah, 231. That seems like a great deal to me. Confirm. Please, God, confirm. There we go. Okay, we're... Ref that was very slow. I have no idea why that was so slow. Alright, you have accepted my deal, right? This is hardly sufficient tribute. You see this? You see this in Kathy Coalition? This is what I think of that retort. Open your fucking borders to me. I swear to God, open your goddamn borders. Let me in to your territory to kill your enemies. Or crash. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, that was only 28 minutes. Hmm. 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 No, I'm not gonna cut this one. 28 minutes is too short. 35. I can wiggle that, but God damn it. Okay, I'm gonna cut beautiful. Beautiful universe two isn't incompatible with anything and shouldn't be causing any crashes. Thinner borders shouldn't be causing any crashes. Star Trek New Horizons obviously shouldn't be crashing itself in the content sub mod. Ain't doing no harm either. So this should be fine. Why it isn't is beyond me. It's bloat. I think it might just be save game bloat and being saved over, over, and over, and over. And not up to date, etc., etc. Oh, that's aggravating. It's particularly aggravating because I'm going to have to send that same stupid offer to them. That, or I can tag switch over to them 
force them to open up their borders because it makes no sense to me why the mechanics work the way they do, being that I'm at war with your enemy, your enemy has occupied your planets, making your planets their planets, but I cannot fly into their space because legally you still have a claim to it. Seems weird to me. Seems mildly strange to me. Oh, just, just mildly though. The, the war system in 2.0, I haven't loved. I don't think I've loved Warfare and Stellaris since the game was made. Paradox made a valiant attempt to remedy the system, and they did fix a lot of things, but war still leaves a lot to be desired at times. Okay, okay, hey, hello, trade deal. No, wrong one. Research agreement, information, information. Turn this up to 11. Now we go into strategic resources and the game fucking crawls to all. No? Man, it might be a memory week issue then. I... I would very much believe it to be a memory week issue. Metaphasic particulates, uh, Javanite, I'm giving you. Cormeline, I'm giving you. Especially if looking at the, uh, the crashes, if they happen sequentially closer and closer and closer together, then that's almost certainly a memory issue. Which, I have way more processing power than is necessary to run this game and record this game. I have way more memory than is required for it. I think it's just a bad optimization thing. Not to decry the kind and good people at Paradox. <sighs> Listen, I don't want to give you Xenite and Gallicite and all these other things, but I'll give you Xenite and Bioadaptive Fertilizer and Rodinium. Bioitrium and Latinum. I just want you to fucking love me. <laughs> I can afford to give you Gallicite, Dark Matter, I have doubles of all that. Really, I can give you everything except beetle stuff. Oh, purified water, yeah. Soil enrichment method, yeah. Raw dilithium, you ain't getting from me. You are certainly not getting refined dilithium. There, take one of everything. 744. Fuck you. Take the deal. Take the stupid deal. Paris has fallen. Yep. The downside is I'm going to have to move my fleets all the way over there. Have you not accepted that deal yet? Right, there we go. And I can't ask them to open their borders to me. Really, the, the most we can get from favorable trade deal is 100. Oh, I went way over the top on that then. God it, damn it. <laughs> ah! Ah! God, I want to save, but I'm horrified of the game crashing. Hallelujah. Okay. Okay. Alright. Okay. All the single ladies, put your hands up. Alright, sixth fleet. Go to Packer. Third fleet. Go to Volchok. It's actually looking to me like none of these have planets in them, and this is really fast and easy. If this is the case, I'm going to be incredibly relieved. Second fleet, go there. Fourth fleet, go here. First fleet, go to Packer. Okay. Okay. So they have some construction ships and science ships rolling around Tholia. I don't care enough to hunt those down. I don't think it should matter. This is going to land on Regulac 3. Armies. There is no army here, so yep, that should go nice and easy. Duckworth! 
What a name, and it's a size 25 planet. You don't mind if I do. Vendomar have declared the Husnok their rivals. I think between the House of Hosto, Romulans, and Husnok against these people, it'd be very close. This is a coalition war I don't want to see happen because I want the bright axis up here. I want them to survive because pink boys are a good bastion against the Borg. If anyone else attacks them, the Borg are sure to take advantage of the situation and walk on in. Oof. You're still sitting at 100% war exhaustion for the defenders. They should have capitulated by now. Confusing. Alright, that war is over. Occupation's over. Hello, Chronoton Torpedoes. What's cheapest in here? Central Structural Integrity Field. Oh, well, that's something I won't use. An object in space is immune to immense velocities, micro collisions, and extreme temperature variances. I'm oh, sorry, is subject. I immune to no is subject to all those things appropriate reinforcement technology can help relieve these stresses oil brown rig and duckworth get caged, i suppose so what's the deal ah 99 percent <laughs> i do have to take out those star bases okay then it was totally worth just throwing money at zinkathy really research and a bunch of stuff we already had. We didn't lose anything by giving all of that to the Zenkethi. They, uh, they just gained a lot. Don't close your borders, you motherfuckers. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to save you. Go to Packer. And then Galveria. And then Volchok. Just to be 100% sure, you're not occupying the Breen anymore, right? Yep, nothing in Breen space has been occupied. Nothing in my space or any of my ally space has been occupied. None of your planets are unoccupied. We have no partial occupations. Yep, those are all full occupations. Flip over here. These are all full occupations. So it really is just these last few star bases that I am amazed the Breen didn't clean up on their own. Get that with the entire point. Oh, I misread hull points as fleet strength. I was really impressed that the Breen managed to get a fleet strength of like 34,000, no, 5,000. Still, good enough. If they move in here and help move this along, all the better. Get some naval depots. You give me a Hawking Observatory, Orbital Science Center, make me happy man. Naval Depot. Naval Logistics Center, go ahead and upgrade again. No planetary upgrades. Right. What? Oh. You just arrived. Fung. Fung wasn't under our control? Oh no. Do we have a 99% occupation because of that? Son of a bitch. Game don't do me like this. Don't hearts of iron me. Don't do me dirty. They're gonna do me dirty. God damn it. Holographic science station. It's the only purple one we have. The latest holographic technologies can be combined into a sensor station, providing fully dimensional graphical readouts accessible across the vessel. Rakari Third Imperium will now guarantee the independence of the Dominion. Yeah, y you say that. There's not much left to guarantee, my dude. Their worlds are being occupied, stripped of their population, and... You, although are occupying a great deal of space, 
God damn it, how did I miss this? How did I miss Fung? I was just saying, yeah, I took everything. Ah. Minus 2%. Ooh, that's... That's rough. So if we had lost less on our ground battles, we could sue them for peace right now. I hate that. <laughs> I'm hoping that taking these back will count, but I'm actually quite sure that... Where are you going? The Paris system. What are you doing in the Paris system? You're worrying me. Oh, it's probably fine. So, changing the political ideology of the Cardassians might make them break up with the Tholians. If it does, we could add them to our our coalition. Incorporating holodeck technology into our starship bridges means that we can adapt our interfaces to the needs of the situation, as well as the preferences and unique needs of their operators. Whether exploring, engaging in diplomacy, or in battle, our officers will always have exactly the resources they need at their fingertips. Yeah, I mean, it's a cool tech, but I'm not using bigger ships. I'm just using tons and tons of heavy escorts, so may not be super useful. So close. So, so close. Okay, I'm just going to tell the Sixth Fleet to go on to Volchok after the fact, and... Yeah, whatever. You, you got it. You got it. I hope. Maybe you don't. Uh, it's it's a little I don't know why. I'm still building star bases. Really, the only advantage to building star bases for us right now isn't procuring more minerals and energy. It's getting our minerals per minute or per month and our energy per month higher. But more than that, it's mostly getting society research or getting research and resources, specifically dilithium, because I'm pretty sure I have all the other strategic resources that we can get. It's a very weird situation. This is all surveyed. This is all surveyed. Well, our survey ships are doing good work. And apparently they're allowed within Borg space. Seems odd to me. But okay. How's your war going? Are you going to end this anytime soon? No. No, you're not. God damn it. <laughs> Research agreement. Yeah, sure. I'm not above cheating to make this happen. I'm not above that at all. So if the Cardassians do lose, break this coalition, and join ours, then that doesn't mean they'll be at peace with the Breen or the Tholians. If they're not at peace with the Breen and the Tholians, we would then potentially get called into that war. I don't think we could invite them to a coalition until they're at peace anyhow. <laughs> yeah, that'll be, that'll be odd. What we've effectively accomplished in this war is making it so that the Cardassians don't consume the Zinkethi coalition. But the Zinkethi and the Breen may not have the fleet strength to push into Tholian space and Cardassian space on their own. Okay. Give me 
Give me 100%. This isn't going to be 100%. <laughs> I I just know this isn't going to be 100%. It's going to kill me. <sighs> like, oh, sorry, player. You didn't occupy this one system of ours, so we're unable to say that we will capitulate. Yeah, because I'm not occupying that star base. Hmm. It does mean that we'll still have 99% occupied. We'll have 99.9% .9 occupied once Fung is the only thing that's left. So I guess I'm just trying to swing that a little closer. Because these, yeah, beating these star bases don't actually count as space engagements, do they? Thulia, Thulia, Cardassians, and Keth. Yep, they don't. Well, let's talk about research focus. We can get a special tech. Do I want to get a special tech from A1? Talarian War Games. Particle phasers. I don't know. Survivability of star bases. Clearance of kelp tile blockers. Uh, interesting. We can already do kelp tie blockers. Ability to hire mercenaries. Frankie trade policy. Denobulin. Nah. 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 I mean, maybe eventually these are all interesting things. Ushan would increase the morale of our armies. That's actually kind of tempting. A little late, obviously, because our armies aren't doing much invading anymore, but Ushan with legalization might have been a good idea. But for now, let's just accession talks with the... Alright, we can do the Sona, the Brunali, or the Antidian, or Akamarian. So, Antidian shoals are down here. Give us fish people. It's interesting. Akamarian sovereignty are over here. It wouldn't give us much. The Brunali Empire. Why can I not remember where the Brunali are? You're not Brunali. Brunali are this tiny thing. Yeah, so that wouldn't give us much. The Sona Command would give us two colonized systems and all of these just systems. Ooh, dilithium, potentially colonizable worlds. Whatever the fuck this is, an M-type anomaly. Yeah, yeah, sure. Let's go negotiate with the Sona Command. Low intensity negotiations is all that we can afford right now. Are all that we can afford right now. Forever. If we take out this last starbase and I can't force them to concede, I will cheat to make them concede. Minus 2%. Fuck. You. <laughs> I hate. I... It seems like such bullshit to me that they have lost 341 armies and have gotten 11% war exhaustion from that. Whereas we've lost seven or 30 armies and gotten 17 war exhaustion from that. They, they've lost every army they have. But it's only 11%. I've lost, what, a third of what I had? 17%. Weird mechanics are weird. All right, take out Volchok, and we'll see what we can do. This, I, I consider this a victory. I'm very confused 
by why the... You know, if I'm gonna cheat on my own behalf, don't crash on me, game. Don't crash on me. Don't crash on me. Alright, save scum my dude. I'm gonna poke around. This war that the Rogan Empire is fighting against the Agrathian Commonwealth should be over. So I'm gonna... Nope, nope. Yeah, that. That. Who is this? There we go. Yes, men, not yes, man. What? Demanding surrender. Sorry, that's showing Federation Cardassian War. Ah, I would need to unpause to make this happen. Hmm. Fuck. Alright, who are you at war with? Yep, the Rogan Empire, who, who, <sighs> oh, this is an annoying glitch. <laughs> this is very annoying, so I can't just, hmm. Super peace, only the main attacker and defender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm attacking the Ag Argrathians. Yeah, Argrathians are Dosi, Kremen, Screen. All right. Hey, hello. Super peace. Thank God. Yeah, conquer. Yeah. All right. So what the fuck is happening here? Why is this not piecing out? Minus twenty three. Why? Demanding unoccupied planets and systems. What? What unoccupied planets and systems? Everything you have is occupied. Literally everything you have is occupied. Girl. Nah. Nah. You you wrong. You you wrong about this. Yeah. Send offer. And then play. Zero, zero, actually, observe, play, zero, zero. We, likewise, will go into here, achieve war goals, send offer, because I've taken everything you have. One, two, three, four. Please work for the Tarogan. I was trying to help them out, too. Okay. But the Cardassian unions are slaving imperialists? Really, they're egalitarian, xenophile, pacifists. Damn. Damn, okay. Well, then that didn't work. Uh, I don't want to jump over to the Tarogan, even for five days, because I'm pretty sure the AI will fuck up my country. Uh, whatever, I saved. I saved for a reason. Let's go save you from yourself, AI. You you won this war. You've occupied every fucking thing on the map. Except it. There we go. No, no, no. Pause it. Great. Good for you. Look at that beautiful country. AI, what did you do to my Federation? What'd you do? I know you did something. I don't fucking trust you. Oh, God. <laughs> you immediately started building all over the place. Was it worth it, Alex? Yeah. Yeah, it was probably worth it. What'd you do to my fleets? Did you kill my fleets? No. Okay, you didn't majorly fuck that yet. Did you redesign my ships? No. Yes, you did. <laughs> God... Damn it. What did you do? <laughs> what did you do? Alright, you may have redesigned my fleets, but you didn't have time to upgrade my fleets. Yeah. 
return home, return home, return home. I'm fine with this. I'm fine with this, but I'm gonna have to do so much micromanaging before I can unpause. And I resent that strongly. Let's go ahead, turn that off. That off and that off. Okay. So the Cardassians are, we are ready. happy. The Galvatarians are unifying pacifists now. That isolates the Tholians even more. A follow-up war against Tholians might not be amiss. But it'd be hard to rearrange or to arrange. Alright, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Get that bullshit out of here. Don't you build... Don't you build any defensive hubs on my star bases. Not Jupiter Station, what are you doing? No. No. Don't build a coalition fleet. No. <laughs> okay. That's out of the question. I think all of this building is me. Let's look at number 16 here. Number 16, this is all me. Yeah, 16, 18? Yeah, that's all me. Okay, okay. And they didn't fuck up anything else? Maybe the AI didn't do anything. Maybe I'm just paranoid. Did you touch my sectors, AI? No? No? You seem to have been cool. Okay. Okay, I'm... I'm very wary about trusting the AI to not have fucked something up, but... Okay. I hope. Yeah, you two will just go all the way back to Earth. We'll, we'll regroup. I don't know what to what to tell you. <laughs> All that just to make them change their government type. What a triumph! Can I declare war on you anytime soon? No, we have to wait until the truce is expired. That's fine. Oop. The Rakari Third Imperium vassalized the Yadarin Union. Who the fuck are the Yadarin Union? Who are you? Where is this? Oh, up here. Yeah, okay. That's probably for the best. I... <laughs> yeah, that was, that was some nonsense how the Tarogan weren't getting what they had actually occupied. I have no idea why. We are ready. Cardassian Union once. Yep. Zinkathi are angry with us again. Talaxians are breaking their migration treaty. Are you considering me aggressive? What's What's happened to our relationships? I'm a threat. I didn't take anything. I'm a threat. <laughs> Apparently, I'm a threat. By encouraging our neighbors we are ready. to become a moral democracy even though they're slaving imperialists little awkward there oh well whatever this will sort itself out with time with time that aggressive expansion will die away The Ossican Hunters have joined the Favorable Alliance. Is the Favorable Alliance what? No. What's the Favorable Alliance? Oh, the Dozy Confederation, Confederacy and Karaman Foundation. Karaman Foundation. Okay, so you join the losing side. The Talaxians! Oh, no, no, no. Fuck you, United Federation of Planets. We will not have open borders. 
but we will be your protectorate. AI, what are you doing? I, I mean, yes, I accept. I'm resentful toward you. I'm, I'm tilted, but sure, fine. No, that's that's fine. Extraction patterns is the most expensive thing here. Heavy weapon, heavy weapon platforms for our stations. Eh. Yeah, let's get mega engineering. Mega structure build cost minus 5%. Our engineering expertise is finally advanced to the point at which we begin to harvest the power of the entire star system. The ability to build true mega structures, such as those theorized by scientist Freeman Dyson in the mid 20th century, is now within our grasp. So the Nibarite Alliance are a member of the Bright League. The Screen Republic are still independent. You're at war with the Borg because you're guaranteeing the Dominion. Ah, ah, that's concerning because you're a pushover and the Borg can just go through the Tarogan and eat your planets and then be much closer to me all up in here. Oh, I guess it's fine. We are ready. Listen, I fucked you over in that war. Like, hard. So, I... I want you to win now, because you're the right government type. Isn't this weird? Isn't this strange, fortuitous turn of events? Get off the screen, Iridium D. Iridium? I'm clicking. There we go. I don't like how slow this has gotten. It's been about an hour, so if it does crash, and we're on the second of the month, it's fine. You know what, fuck it, just send them Trillium D in Iridium, in the research agreement. I didn't give the Zinkethi any minerals. I am tempted to give the Cardassians minerals. Why is this menu so slow? What is happening, game? We are ready. Oh, okay, alright, there we go. Watch it crash. It didn't crash. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Alright. Well, it's been a full hour episode. If you're watching this on YouTube, thanks for being so patient with the last two and the crashes that have ended it. Uh, last two? Last one? Oh, whatever. I'm gonna wrap this up recording-wise. I'm gonna keep streaming for... an hour? Something like that. But if you're watching on YouTube, make sure to comment, share, like, subscribe, all that silly social engagement stuff. Until tomorrow, I'm going to say toodaloo. Take care. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.